What's you guys got another video here for you on how to troubleshoot internet connection problems in Windows 11. You can also use this in Windows 10 as well, but we're on a Windows 11 system and this is what we're going to be doing today and taking a look at TCP Monitor Plus. It's a free tool, it's a portable application you can download and use to monitor your TCP IP network. This great little tool is going to be able to monitor your internet traffic and also monitor your network traffic that's happening on your network in real time. So we're going to take a look at this and download it and open it up and get it working on this Windows 11 system. So let's go ahead and go to our downloads folder where I downloaded it and we're going to extract the files inside here. Now, like I said, you don't need to install this application. We can extract this. It is a portable application, which means it's just going to run uh, right from the actual container here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a TCP mom. This will open up the application. You may see Windows protected your PC. Click on more info. It is an unknown publisher, so it's going to flag it like that. But I'm going to run this on this system. Now you can see we do have the actual drop down here, which is going to allow us to select what card we want to monitor. So I'm going to monitor the network card here. So just choose the network card that you want to monitor the traffic on. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. And straight away, you'll see it starts to monitor the traffic on that network card. So you can see all the information here it will give you the information here, and it will also give you the capture time on the right hand pane there. So depending on what you want to do here, you do get this graph uh, inside Windows, but there is limited information on Windows, whereas this will give you quite a lot of breakdown of what's actually happening on packets sent and received on your system. We do have packet monitor here. You can put an IP address in here, start this, and you'll get a bunch of information. So let's take a look at session monitor here. This is all the information that is happening right now on the system, the status for all these connected uh, IP addresses that are connecting to our system and being sent out of our system. And you'll see a lot of this stuff is if you have browsers open or you have devices connected to the network or you have some sort of uh, program open that is obviously going out to the internet so you can see there's a lot of stuff here from microsoft and also google and a bunch of other stuff that is going in and out of our computer now if you had a malicious type of application that is running you can right click on it and you can also copy this to clipboard and you can also do what is called a ns lookup and you can also do other things like who is and stuff like that which will give you information about that file which is quite useful now some of it will come back unavailable because obviously this is from uh, microsoft but i'll show you this a little bit later on we can just quickly click on something here that does actually work so let me find one here that's actually going to give us some information you can see the port that is connecting to and you can also see the ip address and the host name as well so it's giving you quite good information and here we have some information right here and that APNIC.net belongs to the Asia Pacific Network Information Center. And you can do a search for this and it will give you all that information. So you can see how useful this could be if you have some sort of malicious address here, remote connection to your computer, and you want to check it out. And you would be able to do some checks on that IP address and also trace it back to find out what it's doing and where it's connecting to. You can open up applications here as well. As soon as you open up applications on your PC like Paint or the Microsoft Store or any applications that have been created by Microsoft, these are obviously going to be calling home to Microsoft. It doesn't really matter uh, what sort of telemetry you're worrying about that you can turn off on your PC. If you open any of these applications up, they will call home. And that's just basically the way it is with Windows. You're not going to be able to completely uh, turn off every tiny little connection that is going to Microsoft because they own the operating system. And you can see here, there's a bunch of stuff that's getting sent out here. So this is basically how you can use it to troubleshoot problems with your computer and your network. And uh, you can see some of these are connecting to Microsoft as you would expect, because this is a Microsoft operating system. And again, we're just going to have a quick look here at the NS lookup, who is ping and trace route. You've got trace route here. This will do a complete route from that IP address to your computer here. And this will show you the whole trace route of 
your from your router all the way to that website and back again to your computer and it will give you all the hops listed right here and you can see here i'll blur some of these ip addresses out because it will give my external ip address and you can see it's doing a complete loop from my house to uh, the actual cabinet and then to the exchange and then all the way through and back to the website and back to me and it will give you a full trace route of that exact uh, location here as you can see so that is useful uh, if you're having issues with your network maybe you're getting timeouts or maybe you're getting packet loss or things like that you will be able to check some of that stuff using this tool it's very useful so let's move on here you can see log view here we've got auto kill session uh, if it's a malicious uh, thing you could auto kill that session if you wanted to you can also see here we've got a filter here that i just quickly right clicked and created so i'm just going to quickly uh, remove this but if you want to create filters you can do i'm just going to quickly delete this uh, packet filter here and these are your packet filters. You can start this, reload it, and edit it how you'd like. Also, we've got the interfaces here as well. You can start that off as well. And you've got the statistics and your NS lookup. Uh, this is useful as well. And what the NS lookup is going to do is basically allow you to find the corresponding IP address or domain name uh, system, which is your DNS record. So you'll be able to find all that information there. So we're going to take a look here at Netstat as well. You've got Netstat right here, which you can look at, which will give you all the information right here. It's going to tell you the established connections, and it'll also give you other information about IP addresses and things like that. Here is where you can do a who is as well, and this is for them uh, actual domain names here. You can do a search here, put these in and do a start, and it will get the history for that particular uh, actual uh, domain. Now, of course, there's loads of other programs that do stuff like this, like Wireshark and things like that. But this is a nice little portable app. And I do actually think it's quite a useful little application. And again, if you're looking for troubleshooting your uh, network or you want to see the activity on your local network and what is actually happening, what's coming in and what's going out of your network or your computer, you can use this uh, and it will be pretty good. You've got the ping option right here so you can ping dresses. And this will tell you the packets sent and the packets received and whether any of those packets were lost. Obviously, you'd want to do this over a longer period because obviously you want to make sure that there is no uh, major problems with packets being sent and received. And if you're getting packet loss, then obviously that's going to impact you, especially if you're playing games. It's going to be a great little addition to your little toolkit that you might have on your USB if you want to quickly troubleshoot uh, network issues or internet issues with a computer maybe you've got some sort of rogue program running on there you can use this to track it down and find out where it's going and whether it is actually malicious or not quite a useful little application and it is a portable application like i said so check out tcp monitor plus so let me know in the comment section below whether this is something that you would use or whether you would use something else again there is other programs you can use like i said wireshark which is quite a heavy a uh, big program to install whereas this is a quite a useful little portable application where you don't need to install anything which i think is quite useful to a lot of people anyway i think that is going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support i hope you're having an awesome weekend and i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll catch you on the discord server for a chat have a lovely day bye for now